Actually, it says we're only eight hours from Sedona. Yeah, because we're now in Ventura. Yeah, okay, well, that's not so bad. Ventura Boulevard. I can do that. All right, off we go to Sedona, 547 miles, and we will be back at our old home front seven years ago. Sad. Makes me sad. We really did love the Flagstaff and Sedona area, and it makes me sad. Fiona said she wished she was going with us to there. All right, so we will see you in the morning or early afternoon in Sedona. We're at some Where casino parking lot that is full You're of in Cabazone, California. Who? Cabazone. Cabazone, California. Morongo Casino. Anyway, when you get to the casino, just keep driving down the road. You'll see signs that point to RV and semi parking. And you'll see a big flashing light pointing to where this parking lot is. You know, we got almost 400 miles to go. Well, good night. Well, I overslept. <laughs> and it's uh, 7 a.m. Why is it so bright? It must be later than 7 a.m. I must have really overslept. 7, 12 a.m. Phoenix and we thought we'd have lunch at our favorite spot Papa Do's which is a Cajun restaurant Cajun seafood in fact which in case you haven't noticed by several of my t-shirts that I like Cajun food <laughs> so we're gonna come in here and we're gonna get their alligator that's our favorite thing here let's go have lunch thank you I get my alligator blackened. Robin likes the fry. But this is yummy stuff. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And then this is the shrimp and grits. What do you think? You like it? And you thought you hated shrimp and grits. It's good, isn't it? It's how they do that. Man, the weather is amazing out here. It really is good. Oh, this is so nice. Because honestly, it's been a, it was a little chilly for my taste in California. It's a nice 80 degrees here. Pretty much no humidity. Of course, in the summertime, this is a terrible place to be. But this time of year, it's just amazing. Regarding that meal there at Papa Do's. Interesting thing is, I actually like this one here in Phoenix. I enjoy Papa Do's everywhere, but it seems like, I don't know, you know, it is a chain and they do everything supposedly the same, but it seems like compared to where we've got it before, uh, alligator is tender here. I'm wondering if maybe the restaurants that we've gone to other places maybe don't tenderize them two times like they're supposed to. The other thing I want to make note of is they have shrimp and grits that you saw that I got. And they have the lunch version, which is just the butter creole sauce, that brownish color sauce. And then they have the dinner version, which has all the tomato-based stuff on it. I do not like the dinner version. The lunch version, however, just is perfect. So if you've tried the one with all the tomato-based ingredients you didn't really care for it, you might want to try the lunch version. It's got a completely different taste to me, very buttery. It's just, it's very good. We're going to head to Sedona now. Get set up at our resort. It's Sedona Pines Resort. I would never recommend ever buying a resort, ever. But fortunately, we don't get too raked over the coals with this one on our annual dues. We also get with this one, because it's basically a, uh, used to be an RV park that they basically converted to a resort, we get free RV space that we don't have to use our points. Well, you don't have to use your points anyway because we own that particular resort, so we don't go through the exchange to use it. You only get so many times you can use it each two-year period and stuff like that but it's free this is the first time we're gonna to get to use that so we're gonna be in Sedona for a week all right here we go oh, so okay. if you ever go to visit Sedona keep in mind that it has got low light ordinances yeah, and uh, Flagstaff oh, does as well in a lot of little areas because there is uh, observatories in the area and so they want to keep the light pollution that, down. That is okay. Keep that in mind. It's really hard to see pedestrians, especially if you go to the, the actual Sedona downtown kind of area. 
so probably not some, something you want to do at oh, night. So we're just heading right back on the main road to the timeshare. So this is Sedona Pines. We'll show you more of it tomorrow. Yeah, this resort gets a bad rap, but we actually like it.